this idea that at any moment book can close has me making decisions and doing things that not only things can happen that can change the trajectory of your life and and with that understanding comes this idea that look like when bad things happen in my life or good things happen in my life I'm not going to let this change me. Should I make this decision? Should I act outside of myself? Should I act um, irrational? Should I react in this way that can kind of sever these relationships? Or should I do this thing that could possibly, I'm not going to lash out and do something that will impact this kind of culmination of what I want to be remembered by one day. What is up, TDP family? It's your host, Adis. And on today's episode, it's going to be a little sad. It's going to be a sad one. And it's because I, I woke up with some really disheartening information today. Someone that I've worked with for um, quite a long time now. She's someone who um, is very near and dear to the company that I work for. Um, a very hard worker. Someone who kind of seems like a distant family member to me. Uh, lost her son today. And uh, it was early in the morning, and uh, she woke up to the news that her son got in an accident, in a car accident, and uh, passed away. And I was heartbroken, you know? Uh, I was heartbroken because that's uh, everyone's worst nightmare, you know? And it got me thinking a lot, and it got me thinking about life and, and what life really means to me and how short life really is. I, I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm constantly reminded by this idea that at any moment um people can go you know and what's left behind is memories what's left behind is impact what's left behind is just this idea of this person that once was and isn't anymore um in the same way that we're used to seeing them and what they left behind and i think that's something that's grounded me in so many ways in my life uh, throughout the years because I know how fleeting life can be and, and how short really, really it is, you know? And for the longest time, I, I've developed this idea that my sense of self is designed around this idea that I need to be this pillar in the people's lives around me that can be depended on, can be loved, can be appreciated, can be of service to the people that I love. And because of that, it's helped shape and mold the way I go about my interactions with my loved ones and my family members and my friends and the people that I just care for so much. You know, a lot of small things won't really change me as a person. It won't dictate how I go about things like small occurrences that are often just bad and don't really make me happy or when things kind of go left they, they don't really define or, or shape how I interact and how I go about my life because I know how short life is when things happen in your life good or bad you have to take it for what it is you know and don't let it mold you into a person that you're not you know and I think with that experience that this person that I care for a lot went through I think all of the memories and all of the good that her son left behind is remembered, right? And <clears throat> I feel like a lot of us don't wake up knowing that at any moment the curtains can close and, and that's all she wrote. Like, I, I think that's a very uh, morbid kind of scary way to think. And I'm sure it's in the back of your mind, right? When you're making decisions, like anything can change. Like when I go into decision making, kind of is lingering back to like, can this be a deciding factor on how my life and the trajectory of my life can go. But I don't wake up thinking that like, okay, at any moment, this is going to end. You know, I wake up knowing hopefully that God is protecting me and I can go out into the world and, and be, you know, someone that makes an impact on people's lives and, and helps. And I, I'm laughing and joking and, and sharing a bond with my friends, my family. But I'd be lying if I said like, 
a lot of the things that I do aren't associated with this idea that the biggest thing that I'm working for and working towards is being this best version of myself. And with that comes the impact that I have on others, right? Like I know at any moment this can be cut short. So what do I want to leave behind, right? Like what type of impact, what type of message do I want to leave with all my friends and my loved ones? That's why when like things happen to me that are sometimes just not working in my favor or just make me sad or make me angry or make me mad. I'm not going to lash out and do something that will impact this kind of culmination of what I want to be remembered by one day. Once you understand how life can just out of a blink of an eye can change, it it doesn't mean you have to, God forbid, like pass away, but things can happen that can change the trajectory of your life. And, And with that, Uh, understanding comes this idea that look like when bad things happen in my life or good things happen in my life I'm not going to let this change me a lot of people that handle success and handle the blessings that come into their life and, and blessings can mean so many different things right they don't have to be something tangible like money is right that you can like grab and stuff like that but they don't lose themselves You don't lose yourself in the wins. You don't lose yourself in the losses. I I hope I'm making sense. But, you know, when I woke up to this news, I was pretty heartbroken. I was pretty heartbroken because it happened to someone that I feel, you know, and I'm not saying anybody deserves to feel like this, but I can see the amount of work and hard work that she puts in specifically. And she's been with our company from, you know, relatively like the beginning, the beginning. And she's gone through a lot and, and worked through a lot of a lot of tough times and through COVID and all of these things and you know hearing that was just this uh, another slap of reality that it can happen to anyone and in these really really horrible things can happen but I hope that you know um, her her son and and just her family um will heal from this, you know, and it just got me thinking about, you know, my life and the people that I surround myself with and, um, why I, I choose to do what I do a lot of the times. And, you know, I, I don't want to live in regret. You know, I don't want to live my life based on how life sort of dictated my, my being. I don't want to be an autopilot and not spend my time and not communicate wisely based on these circumstances that the only thing that's kind of promised in this life is just the course of it, right? You are born and then you go about life and at any moment, everyone's clock has a little uh, uh, end, right? There's a, it's not a uh, ongoing thing. And again, I believe that there is a life after this. But again, I think this life can be so beautiful if you understand that and you understand that, again, rash decisions, communication barriers when, again, they're warranted. Sometimes, again, and I'm not saying you don't have to feel, right? Like a lot of times where you're going through a life experience where you are absolutely positively uh, warranted your reaction and response to things, right? Because mainly this conversation with you guys is, to make sure that when things go wrong, you remember in the back of your head, one day this is, the curtains are going to close, right? So should I make this decision? Should I act outside of myself? Should I act um, irrational? Should I react in this way that can kind of sever these relationships? Or should I do this thing that could possibly tarnish this legacy that I, I could possibly leave behind? Again, like, I hate sometimes talking about this sort of like legacy and stuff like that because again I like speaking life into into people into things and myself but I also understand that this has helped me shape my life in a better way where I know again that like I want my kids to grow up inshallah when I do have kids to be like that my dad was a good man he wasn't perfect but he was a good man and he had values and he had core principles that he lived by. And there was nothing that could kind of take him away from those core principles. Again, like I am the most probably imperfect person there is. Right. And I think that I've, I've chased this, this idea that I want to remain perfect, but it's just not uh, physically possible. Right. Like I am a human being at the end of the day, going through a human experience, but This idea that at any moment, book and close, has me making decisions and doing things that not only are unselfish, 
but also serve this greater purpose. And I think all of us deserve to have this greater purpose. And I think that if it's outside of just like money, materialistic, things like that, you're going to be good. If it's more stuff for your soul to feed you, you know, and I do things also knowing that reality too. I do things that are also very selfish in ways. And I know that could be counterintuitive or, or uh, hypocritical, but I do things that serve my soul too, that might not be understood by others, right? Like it might not be accepted and, and a right thing to do by others, but because I know that I need to do this for me because, you know, this is something that just is feeding my soul and I need this as a, as a person because, you know, whatever reason I have, I don't know, I, I feel like I do it, you know, and luckily those things aren't, you know, terrible things that will lead me in a bad, I mean, some of them could be considered, I know not, you know, the best in others' eyes, but I think that my moral high ground and in the principles and the stuff that I kind of have and I experienced and I like and I want to continue are down this path of, you know, just being the best human I can possibly be. And sometimes I shoot and I miss and I, I make some bad decisions, but as long as I, I recognize them and I try to do what I can to help right those wrongs, I think uh, is so important. So I'm praying um, for her and her family. I'm not going to say her name because I know she watches, but um, or I think she watches. Um, but yeah, I think we all have to always strive to do better and always strive to be the best versions of ourselves because what you leave behind is the memories and the impacts that you've had on people. So with that, I leave you. You can find us at youtube.com slash the demon podcast and youtube.com slash Neela Carey for all your makeup needs. TDP, we out.